in listen only mode. Thank you so much for attending our webinar this morning. I am Sandy Vicanti, Supervisor of Producer Services here at IMES. And again, want to thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to attend this really important webinar. A couple things before we start. I uh, wanted to let you know what great services we have here at IMES for you as the agent. Uh, one of them is called our Life and Annuity Academy. And I'm going to, while I talk about this, um, put a poll question out there for you to answer if you want to get more information. This is an industry recognized academy that we have. We have about three a year. It's an all expense paid trip so we cover all the costs of the academy um, and what we do it's a training where we go over different sales ideas and strategies from top producers. You know we go over the current DOL situation. Um, you know, we go also talk about top producer turnkey seminar systems, what's working, how they're working, how they're doing it, um, wealth transfer tools, uh, such as Great Single Premium Life, um, you know, go over annuity industry threats and trends, as well as income writers. And we go over a lot of great information. And again, um, just check yes if you're interested in getting more information from us on that. Uh, it's really a pretty spectacular academy. Again, we pay for the expenses. We, um, you know, will give you a call and take care of all the travel. And it's just it's a really good opportunity to learn what's happening in your industry. So I'm going to get that closed. We're going to go on here. Uh, we also have here uh, with our creative services, our, our, our creative department is just top notch. We have Matt Neal and Adam Bylas here and they can help you with just about anything you need, whether it's basic marketing where you just need letterhead or business logos, business cards, stationery, you know, if you want to do a newsletter and, you know, have that sent out, whether that's sent out electronically or whether it's mailed, um, you know, we have website design and email, email newsletter service. So let's say you have a website and maybe you just want to refresh it or you don't have a website and you want to get one started. Matt and Adam will create and manage that for you. Uh, you know, we have paid search management where, you know, when someone in your area Googles life insurance or annuities, you know, we make sure that your name or company is top on the list, as well as different radio and television ads that we help create for you. So as you can see, it's a pretty mass uh, offering that we have for our creative department. And again, that is with Matt Neal and Adam Bylas. So please, I, I encourage you to contact them. They do a, just a great, amazing job. For any agents that are brand new to IMS, if you contract with us in your first six months, we offer a new producer bonus. So any paid business that you place in your six, first six months, um, once you reach $100,000 uh, in life, annuity, med sup, long-term care, combination thereof, we will give you a choice of either a $750 cash bonus a two-year subscription to a website or newsletter service. You know, if you do 300000 in your first six months, um, what we will do is give you a $1,500 gift card. Uh, you can choose a full Social Security program and 3,000-piece postcard mailing or $2,000 in your matching uh, marketing money account to promote your business. If you say, heck, I'm just going to go gangbusters in my first six months, I know I'm going to do a half million dollars a place business. Then what we do there is you get a 5,000 piece mailing and seminar coaching with the top producer, Matt Gill. Uh, you can choose a 4,000 piece mailing and seminar coaching with a top producer of ours, Dave Pimper. Or you can choose a Ritz Carlton Travel Rewards getaway where you can customize your own trip. So as you can see, just just for writing business with us, in addition to your um, commissions, this is what we would offer. We also offer all of our agents a referred producer program. 
And what that is, is if you refer an agent to us, and if you'd like for us to call, or you know, you have the agent call, and they get contracted, you get $50 for a um, referral. Thank you is what I like to call it. Um, if that agent writes and places business with us, we pay you 0.20% on any business written by your referral indefinitely. So it is not taken out of their commission. It's not taken out of your commission. It's something that we do just to say thank you for trusting us and allowing us to work with someone that you referred. So again, we will pay you 0.20% on any placed business indefinitely that you're referred agent rights. We also have a marketing reimbursement account where for in addition to you know your new producer bonus if you're a new agent in addition to all the great commissions we put $200 in marketing reimbursement money per $100,000 of placed business and what that marketing reimbursement account does is just that it will help reimburse any business expense that you may have. So for example, 50%, I should say. So if you have a $400 um, bill for, let's say, a website or a seminar, submit that to us. And as long as you have $200 in there, we will uh, cut you a check for the $200. So let's go on with our webinar now. It's on Qualified Single Premium Life, which is just, it's a great opportunity to take qualified funds and move them into wealth transfer. So the problem is clients with qualified funds, <clears throat> you know, if they're not taking distributions from them, they know they're not going to need it uh, in their lifetime. They're going to pass all of those qualified funds completely taxable to their beneficiaries. And as you may or may not know, those beneficiaries are taxed at their income bracket, not at the assured or annuitants income bracket. So, you know, many seniors are at, you know, let's say 15% income bracket where their beneficiaries may be at a 28% income bracket. Um, so even though clients know that they need a long-term care, um, you know, that cost has made it completely unaffordable and undesirable for many of them. You know, they're concerned about losing money by buying a long-term care policy and not using it or not being able to qualify for a long-term care product. So we have a great solution. And again, that's with Single Premium Life. It combines products. Um, it's completely simplified issue, absolutely no exam, no labs. We have three great carriers that will take qualified funds and you can actually transfer it into this great life policy. That's National Western, Baltimore Life with their Generation Legacy and Equitrust with their Wealth Pay. You know, we do have, if you don't wanna go a simplified issue route, we do have fully underwritten where, you know, we can put the money into a SPIA and then um, take that SPI amount each year and put that into a life policy for a premium, and then you can add a long-term care rider. Uh, with, we'll go over the different carriers. National Western, uh, their product that accepts qualified funds is called the Lifetime Return Solutions. Um, they are rated A by AM Best. And what it is, it's an equity index universal life and it has an internal SPIA that's built into it. Uh, issue ages, if you wanna do a five pay on that is 45 to 85 and a 10 pay goes all the way up to age 80. So the minimum face amount on that is 25,000. So whatever the client puts in, if it's 15,000, we just need to make sure that the single premium amount or the transferring monies will buy a $25,000 death benefit. Uh, it has terminal illness, which is great. Uh, it's 75% of the death benefit. Underwriting for that, it starts at a table five and it ends at a table five. It's an immediate decision on the phone. Um, whatever health questions that are on the application, that's what they ask on the telephone interview. Uh, no exam, no labs. Never will we ask for exam or labs. And instead of how long-term care 
underwrites for morbidity. This is underwritten strictly for mortality, which is great. So anyone who's maybe been declined by uh, for long-term care in the past uh, for, let's say, arthritis or something that has to do with morbidity, they can completely get approved if they can um, pass for mortality. Commissions are high on this National Western product. So ages 45 to 75, it goes to 11%. And then it goes down from there to where ages 80 to 85 is 4.5%. So as you can see, it's a great product for your client. But it's also a really good product for you as the agent as well. Again, the what kind of sets us apart is it starts at a table five, ends at a table five with an, an instant decision right there on the telephone. So you'll know by the time you hang up whether your client is approved or declined. And then they also offer after the first year 10% free withdrawals to the client. So if for some reason they're needing funds, um, then they can utilize the 10% free withdrawal. Benefits, again, that death benefit, if they're transferring 100000 of qualified funds and it purchases $200,000 in death benefit, that 200000 is going to go um, income tax-free at death. There is tax deferral on cash values in the contract. Um, and you're not stuck with just a flat death benefit. You know, it's indexed linked returns on cash value. So there's a continued growth on that. And again, the client can use 10% free withdrawals um, for liquidity features. Um, you know, and of course the benefits to the beneficiary, it goes income tax free. So if the client has a lot of annuities and they want to offset that by having income tax free death benefit, go to their beneficiaries to help pay for those taxes, this would be a great way to do it. Baltimore Life has one of the best uh, single premium life products when you're talking about uh, qualified funds. Theirs is called the Generation Legacy uh, Superb Product. It's a single premium, um, so it's an internal SPIA that's built into the product. Uh, we can defer those payments or spread those payments out, I should say, two different ways. You can do seven years from ages 75 to 80, or you can do a 10 pay from ages 60 to 74. It is a whole life product, so many of your older clients are, um, you know, accustomed to what a whole life product is, very safe. Um, with that, we have to have a minimum SPIA payout of $5,000. So whatever money your clients are um putting in, we need to at least have a minimum of $5,000. Maximum death benefit is $450,000. And it has, again, terminal illness, which is 75% of the death benefit. But it also has nursing care and home health care benefits. And that's 50% of the death benefit, up to $250,000. So again, if your clients were declined for long-term care insurance, this is a great opportunity for them to get nursing care home health care benefits underwritten mortality wise. Underwriting with uh, Baltimore on this generation legacy product, it starts at a table four, ends at a table four. So it's built for health history. So whether your client is in great health or they've had a heart attack, um, you know, cancer, diabetes, that's insulin controlled. You know, these are things that we get approved. Uh, you know, it's a phone interview. So it's an immediate decision on the phone. Uh, you will, same questions that are on the application, they ask on the telephone interview. Never will we ask for exam or labs. There will not be a time where the client will have to get an exam or lab. And this is underwritten again on mortality, um, which at times is a lot easier to be underwritten than morbidity, which is what long-term care is underwritten on. So taxes on this cannot be withheld from the SPIA payments. So what happens is, you know, if they transfer that $100,000, we're going to break that up into 10 um, equal payments of $10,000 a year for 10 years. So your client would receive a 1099 on $10,000. And those do count toward RMD. 
you know, the SPIA, if a client passes away while the SPIA is being paid out, um, whatever is remaining for that year, that's what your clients or that's what the beneficiaries are get. Uh, again, fully taxable if it's qualified funds. Um, but that's an unusual thing. So a lot of carriers will keep the balance of the SPIA. Um, Baltimore Life does not. You actually, the beneficiaries will receive the death benefit and any balance left in the SPIA. Commissions on this are great. Ages 60 to 75 is 14 percent. Ages 76 to 80 is a whopping 12 percent. Uh, so you can see where, again, great product for the client and a great product for the agent. Unique features on this, again, with immediate approval, the underwriter is talking to the client while you're with the client. We have a 90% approval rate. Um, there's lump sum benefits if your client needs it for nursing care or home health care. You know, the client does not receive any checks from the SPIA because, of course, that's paying the life policy. And there's no annual insurance premium. So, again, amazing product. Um, benefits, income tax-free at death to the beneficiaries. It's tax deferral on cash value in the contract. And again, whole life, everyone knows whole life is safe. It's great product. Um, it's just a really good whole life policy. Um, there is liquidity if the insured needs any of the funds. There are loan provisions on that so they can borrow the money out. And then there's those great nursing care, home health care benefits. Um, if they don't utilize that and they want just wealth transfer, of course, there's great tax benefits for the beneficiary. Equitrust, their uh, single premium life that accepts qualified funds um, is called the wealth pay. Equitrust is a driving force in the single premium life industry. With their products, uh, again, it's a single premium immediate annuity that's built into the product. This works a little different than the other two products. There is a three and five pay, uh, ages 60 to 80, and a 10 pay um, from 60 to 75, unless it's a tobacco user, then it shoots down to age 70. This is a blend of an indexed UL and a whole life product. So it's an indexed whole life. Minimum premium on this is 25,000 with a max death benefit of 500,000 on the guaranteed side. So again, great terminal illness, 75% of the death benefit, uh, which is great. Uh, it's 100% after the SPIA payout. So if we're still making payments or taking payments from that SPIA, uh, terminal illness, they're going to get 75% of that. But if we are done with those SPIA payments, it's 100% after that point. For the chronic and home health care, it's 25% of the death benefit. Again, if we're in that SPIA payout period, but after that SPIA is paid out, it's 100%. Underwriting, table four again, approved or declined on a table four. Phone interview, same questions that are on the phone interview are the exact same questions that are on the application. And again, they underwrite for mortality instead of morbidity. Equitrust has a unique feature as well where you can ask the company at time of application to withhold taxes from the SPIA payments so the clients won't get a 1099 each year. Um, you know, again, those SPIA payouts are fully taxable if they're qualified. And Equitrust won't keep the SPIA um, if the client passes away while that SPIA payment is being taken out. The SPIA and death benefit are both paid at death. Of course, the SPIA portion of it would be taxable to the beneficiaries, but that death benefit still goes tax-free. Commissions, again, strong. Uh, 60 to 75, you're at 11 percent. And then at ages 76 to 80, you're at 6 percent, which at those older ages still pay a lot higher than what some annuities do. Unique features for this, um, again, table four, 
we have monthly accelerated benefits and the client will receive no checks from the SPIA. Since it's a lump sum, they don't have to worry about writing an insurance premium or getting an insurance bill each year because they've already paid for it uh, in a lump sum. And then taxes can be withheld from that SPIA payment, which is great. So who's a prospect for these type of products? Um, clients with, again, existing assets that they don't need for income. Um, they just are not going to use it. Or annuities that are beyond their surrender period. You know, clients who just turned 70 um, because these count toward the client's RMDs. You know, someone who's received an inheritance or even CD owners. Um, you know, 10% free withdrawals, the clients are allowed. So it kind of mimics an annuity, which is what they're used to. Um, and then cash value policies um, that the clients are paying current premiums on and they just are tired of paying those current premiums. So let's utilize the cash value in the policies and transfer that over. Or if the client has just an overabundance of annuities, it's just too many annuities and their portfolio is lopsided. Uh, then I suggest that we take a look at a single premium life. So let's turn to questions right now. And while I do that, I'm going to launch another question for you. So anyone who's interested in contracting, whether it's uh, National Western, Baltimore, or uh, you know Equitrust, please just check yes. We'll get out the contracting information for you. If you're already contracted with us, uh, just give us a call or email me and we'll get that completed for you. And we have some questions. So while you're answering that contracting, um, let's see, with National Western Life and the internal SPIA, does the client receive the tax amount for income tax every year or does the SPIA payment go into the life policy? It's the SPIA payment goes into the life policy. So again, it's an internal SPIA that's built into the life policy itself. So your client's not going to receive a check. They're going to receive a 1099 each year. Um, and then, of course, they would put take that to their CPA. Another question on this is, will these companies still accept qualified funds after the DOL goes into effect in April? That's a great question, and that's actually being um, still discussed. So when the DOL had their ruling or their new law or rule, they kind of forgot about uh, life insurance and index products and, and transferring those qualified funds. So that is still a work in progress. We're waiting for decisions to come down on that. And, um, you know, we will, we will wait with the rest of you and see, but that has not been determined as of yet. And of course, with this election, things may change quite a bit. So what happens when taxes, when money moves from qualified money to life insurance? So again, what happens is when we're moving qualified funds into one of these products, uh, instead of the client getting a big tax bill at the end of the year, let's say on $100,000, what's going to happen is we're breaking that up. So that $100,000 is purchasing you know, a $200,000 death benefit. And we are going to break that $100,000 up hundred thousand dollars up into ten equal payments so to speak inside or internally in the policy so that hundred thousand now has become ten thousand dollars a year for ten years so the client will receive a 1099 on ten thousand dollars each year instead of a big whopping bill of a hundred thousand dollars uh, another question, on funds transferred to the company where the SPIA over three to ten year basis on the single pay, is the commission on the whole amount? It is. So you are actually paid commission on that full $100,000, not on the internal SPIA amount, which is great. So at 9% or 10% you're, of $100,000, you're getting, you know, $10,000.
So what if the clients are under age 70? Can this be non-RMD qualified money? It can. So it's just when the clients, it starts at age 60, uh, you know, 60 to 80 for Baltimore and uh, Equitrust. And then once they reach 70 and a half, then, you know, that money will count toward RMDs. Any other questions? Again, if you have questions, um, you know, you can always email. This is a recorded webinar. Anyone who's registered for this webinar is going to receive a recorded link to this. Anyone who has a requested contracting, um, of course, we'll give you a call. Just find out what carriers you're interested in and uh, answer any questions. If you do have any questions or want any quotes on what this looks like or even have questions on whether or not you think your client will get approved, please give us a call uh, because you would be surprised a lot of agents think, think that their clients won't get approved for health reasons and those are the exact clients who get who actually do get approved. Um, so again, give us a call at 1-800-255-5055. Uh, email uh, at Sandy. S-A-N-D-Y at imsinc.com. Uh, any, again, any questions, please give us a call or email. Um, I hope everyone has an amazing weekend. Please stay safe and thank you so much for your time.